It's Vlogtober day 19. Hey world travelers, welcome back to my channel if you're subscribed and if you are new, welcome to the world of Wiss. I'm Wiss and hope that you do stick around and subscribe to become a part of my world. Today, 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 I'm bringing a requested video. Um, it's a tips for traveling with a child slash children. So stick around if you are a parent, if you are a raisin, you know I call whoever's raising a child their raisins. Um, this is a very great video for you or if you know anyone who has children and needs, you know, tips when traveling with children you can send them this video okay so without further ado from one flight attendant who has seen and experienced a lot in the past five and a half years who does not have children here is a great video for you all my first tip for traveling with children would be to bring that stroller okay bring the stroller it is free to gate check your stroller from gate to gate and you will have advantages to pre-boarding that means you know the gate agent will you know board the first class folks and then they will say anyone who needs any additional time or anyone traveling with um children or infant using a car seat or a stroller this is your time to pre-board use that perk use that perk of having the stroller and having a child to pre-board once you walk down to jet bridge you collapse the stroller you get on the aircraft the flight attendants can even help you get situated to your seats you put everything up and you you know handle your child or children okay do not deal with the stress of holding the baby, holding a diaper bag, rolling, you know, a roller board, rushing to get from gate to gate. I have seen mothers, fathers, parents, grandparents just stressing themselves out with just holding a child and not having a stroller or even worse, holding a car seat and not having a stroller. Like I've held several car seats in my life. I don't have any kids. But them car seats with them kids in them are heavy, okay? So do yourself a favor and gate check them. Um, another tip that I would have for you is to not have a one shoulder type of diaper bag. Bring a backpack style type of uh, diaper bag. Um, have your formula, have your diapers, your wipes, a change of clothes, um, whatever essentials, uh, you know, a pacifier a chewing toy like not a chewing toy but you know a teething toy a teething toy have you know an interactive book a blankie socks something whatever it is that you put in your diaper bags have a backpack style because I've seen so many parents just struggling with a one shoulder type of bag through the airports, you know, with the baby. It's stressful and then the bag is literally at their wrist. They're trying so hard to get it together and they're seated towards the back of the plane and they are struggling and that's when I rush and, you know, help them out. My next tip would be if you don't want to bring the stroller and you rather deal with like a, a carrier, a body carrier for a child. I'm not a mother. So once again, I don't know these technical terms. Um, that's also ideal if you don't mind, you know, the weight of carrying a child um, within the carrier. I've seen lots of parents do it. You, you have both of your hands, um, backpack on your back, baby on your front, and you probably are rolling, you know, a roller board or whatever it may be. So I have also seen, you know, that type of scenario. I would also suggest to not have a duffel bag as your carry-on. Get a bag that has two wheels, get a bag that has four wheels, maybe put you and baby's clothes in that bag, you know, just in case there's an issue with your check bag, you know that you have essentials with you on board. If there's any medicine that baby or yourself may be taking, bring that on board, do not check that. Um, because once again, accidents happen where bags get left behind or bags kind of get lost. So don't stress yourself out with having a duffel bag, a baby, um, your purse. Like, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. Just keep it, keep it simple for yourself. Another tip that I have is if you're the only, like, guardian or adult traveling and you have a baby or if you have a baby and other children i would suggest that if you need to use the restroom please reach out to your flight attendants please 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 do not struggle do not hold it in like we are here to assist you we are here to help you in any which way we can 
please ask i've had you know parents say i don't mean to be a bother but i really have to go to the restroom you're not a bother please let us know if you need to use the restroom we will watch your child for you or bring your child up to the galley whatever it is every flight attendant is different with how they handle kids or children you know call us over to your seat press the flight attendant call button and, and let us know how we could be of an assistance to you okay. i would also suggest if you are you know traveling with an infant or even just toddlers to book your flight either in the morning or book your flight around their nap time if 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 you're unable to do that i would definitely suggest that you kind of tire out the kid hold off on their nap time just so when they get on the aircraft they're like dead tired and they fall asleep easily if anyone is making you feel uncomfortable if anyone says anything to you does anything to you please notify one of us um and my briefings that i give parents that are traveling with infants i always say if anyone says or does anything to you that makes you feel uncomfortable let me know at the end of the day it's a baby the baby can't speak so of course they're gonna cry and I say it loud enough for you know customers around them can hear you know don't be a jerk to this parent that's already stressed with having to deal with the travel and traveling with a child like if anything as a fellow customer see if that parent or see if that raisin needs assistance see if you could give a helping hand see if you can grab a bag that's in the overhead bin for them see if you can pull their bags down you know when they're getting off see if you can help them put their bags up when they're boarding see if there is anything that you can do instead of making snarky remarks because i've seen and heard crazy things happening in my five and a half years of being a flight attendant okay so don't be that person another tip that i would have is i think i could speak for most if not all of all of us flight attendants when we say the carpet and the terminal and the carpet on the aircraft is not the cleanest we've seen people throw up We've seen dogs urinate, you know, we've seen fecal matter on the carpet. We've seen a lot of th the carpet and the terminals and the aircrafts, they go through a lot and they're not deep cleaned regularly, if at all. So I wouldn't put my child on the ground. that's just me that's just me but hey i'm not a mother i could only imagine how it is when you need a break and you need to put the child down for a split second okay right. my next tip would be if you are going to be on a longer flight i would suggest buying a seat for the infant so you can utilize the car seat um it's hard i wouldn't say it's hard because you know parents are superhumans and grandparents are su superhumans and you know you make a way but on any flight that's greater than two hours, I think that, you know, your hands will probably get tired of holding the child. You know, you would, it'd be nice to, you know, have, you know, an empty seat next to you or having the car seat where you could put the child down to take a nap or put the child down while you, you know, fix a bottle in the air or whatever it may be. Um, having, having the car seat, it's, having the extra seat, it's great, you know, especially um, if you could bring the car seat on board and especially if, you know no one doesn't sit next to you you can use that seat and flight you know of course when the seatbelt sign is on or if we're going through turbulence you want to secure your child by holding them but you know you want to have that extra space so you can maneuver around with the child so if possible um and if you can afford it purchase the extra seat so you can bring the car seat on board my next tip would be if you are traveling with an infant and children and it's just a big family give each child a backpack and within that backpack pack coloring books word search um puzzles like interactive books um reading books pack a tablet an ipad pack an ipod and pack headphones pack headphones for children not the earbuds but actual headphones if the child is young enough maybe you can't use headphones and just keep it at a very 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 low volume but if the kid is greater than two years old bring some bring some headset i would suggest if you bring snacks not to bring any peanut butter or nut products because there have been like there there are lots of nut allergies so bring maybe a nutella honey and banana sandwich bring a turkey um and cheese sandwich bring a breakfast sandwich bring chips bring fruit snacks bring their favorite little goodies you know fruit cups pudding whatever it is bring that to keep them you know satisfied especially if you are going to be connecting or just have a long flight because the prices in the airport are expensive like 
super expensive and not every aircraft has food for purchase so you just always want to come you know prepared along with bringing snacks for you know your younger kids if you're traveling with an infant um i have seen mothers bringing their you know their breast pumps so they could pump even if they're not with the kid you know and then they also breastfeed on the aircraft so if you need to uh, breast pump if you need to breastfeed handle your business okay I have no place to tell you what you can or cannot do with your child and with your body so do what you got to do most okay. if not all um, restrooms in the airplanes have a changing table so if you need to do a diaper swap in air um, they have changing tables so you know just ensure that it is safe for you to get up and that you're not going through turbulence and you could walk to the bathroom with your little diaper bag you know and um change your child's diaper i would suggest that if you double check your seat pockets some seat pockets have sick bags if you are doing you know a smelly diaper change bring a sick bag with you so when you change out the diaper you can put the used diaper in the sick bag roll it up and throw it away in the trash that's in the bathroom just so it doesn't make a mess and that the smell you know doesn't reek because some of these kids be having poop explosions i've worked at a daycare i've dealt with all of that okay so i know some of them kids it's very questionable what comes out of them okay <laughs> so that is another tip to have when traveling with kids and if you are traveling with a big family um if there's any issues or discrepancies with seat assignments please 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 discuss it with the gate agent in the gatehouse before you fly out download the airlines app you are able to see seat selections and sometimes you are able to configure and pick out your own seats depending on what type of ticket fare that you brought i would also suggest buying directly through the airline just so you know you're prepared and if there's any insurance that you add to the ticket because traveling with kids and having a delay or cancellation happen is never easy. So um, double check that, you know, if you are split up, that you talk to the agent. Because once you come on the aircraft, and especially when it's a full flight, I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's difficult for us to manage seat situations when we're boarding. Because that's a very stressful time, you know, trying to get everyone on board and trying to get the main cabin door closed. And everyone's dealing with their bags and it just so much is going on so it's kind of difficult so if you download the airlines app which you are flying and you see that somehow you managed to get split up after booking your tickets together um double check and see what the agent can do for you if they are unable to assist you once you get on the aircraft just be patient with your flight attendants explain the situation to them and see if there's anything that they can do for you we understand kids should not be sh sitting with a stranger you know you should not be split up with your kids but sometimes things happen but you know don't be don't be rude we know you're going through a lot you know dealing with all the kids and they're screaming their heads off but just you know approach us nicely because there's a lot of things that we're trying to do to ensure that the door gets closed on time so double check with the gate agent it's easier if they handle it you know in the gatehouse um, another tip that i would have is to not book a tight connection especially if you are traveling with kids um because for the most part um it depends on if you would like to you know be seated in the back of the plane or if you just have a big family and you want to be the last to get off um, or whatever it may be and sometimes you have to wait for your stroller to be brought up you do not want to be running and rushing because once you start running and rushing that's when you leave things behind and this is going to take me into my next tip um double check that you do not leave anything behind such as bankies uh blankies bankies toys um you know especially toys that they've had since you know memorable memorable toys toys that they've cherished since they were a child if you do happen to bring something like that on board leave some kind of contact information in i have seen that parents have stitched their phone number in on the blanket or stitched their contact information on a favorite toy um, just so if it's lost that it could be returned back to the owner so many times I've seen toys get left behind blankets get left behind and it, I can only imagine how the child feels you know because this is like a security item for them and now that it's it, they no longer have it and sometimes it's hard um, replacing or reconnecting those lost items with a child or with a family so just always double check that you are checking your surrounding areas double check those seat pockets double check in between the seats double check double check double check um, double check that you have all of your items you have your license your wallet 
iPads, phones, passports. I've seen so many parents that are traveling with kids just be so stressed out and they leave all of that behind. It would be not all aircrafts are equipped with in-flight entertainment such as TVs. So ensure that, you know, if you allow your child to use a tablet or an iPad to download um, free movies or free TV shows so they can watch in flight and download quite a few just so that they have options and just so that um, the content can hold them over until the end of the flight. So world travelers, those are some of my tips that I have for traveling with children. Um, you all let me know if you have children and if you have any of your own tips that you would like to add on to this video. Go ahead and drop a baby emoji to let me know that you watched this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see y'all tomorrow for Vlogtober day 20. Bye bye. -bye.